Welcome back to what has become, I guess, a, uh, a weekly ritual now. Uh, I'm Eddie Muller, the host of TCM's Noir Alley. And uh, it seems that every week now, uh, especially during these odd times, uh, I am going to make a cocktail uh, to tie in with that weekend's uh, movie on uh, Noir Alley, okay? Remember, it's midnight, Saturday nights, Eastern, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday morning. Okay, so um, this week's movie uh, is called Cornered from RKO in 1945, and it is largely set in a backlot studio version of Argentina. Um, so you could do the obvious thing and take the easy route, and you could uh, just enjoy that with a Malbec like I uh, already did, because this one is empty. Uh, good choice, uh, Claire Tooley from the TCM Wine Club. This was a very good selection, a Schroeder Estate uh, Malbec from 2018. Patagonia, Argentina. But that would be too easy to do that, so I'm gonna make a cocktail uh, instead. And what you're going to need for this, you're gonna need a coupe glass, uh, frosted, of course, with ice. Uh, Honestly, you can use a rocks glass with an ice cube if you choose to do that instead. You are going to need lemon juice. You are going to need honey syrup. Really easy to make if you don't have it. It's three parts water to one part honey. Uh, boil that up quickly on the stove and uh, decant that into a little container here. It's, you do not want to use just straight honey. Trust me, that is a mistake. You will need rye whiskey. I am using Templeton rye, um, but you, any kind of rye whiskey that you have. What you're gonna basically be making here is a, is a whiskey sour, uh, but with a twist, because the additional ingredient that you need are blackberries. That is what you're gonna need, because this cocktail is called the blacklisted and i am making this uh to commemorate the uh what the tribulations shall we say of the producer and director of cornered uh adrian scott and edward dimitrick who were in fact uh blacklisted in hollywood my intro and outro to the film this weekend will get into all of that there are people who watch noir alley who don't particularly like it when I get into the politics. And to those people, I simply say, you know, uh, it is hard to enjoy the full breadth of our fabulous history and an adult libation when you have your head in the sand. So here's how you make this cocktail. You're gonna take, this one is in a mixing glass uh, or in a uh, Boston shaker, I mean, not in a mixing glass. So you're gonna take, uh, like, I'm gonna take three big juicy blackberries here and put them in the glass. Of course, I was almost prepared for this. I need my muddler. You want your muddler. So you're gonna mash those blackberries, really mash them up pretty darn good in the bottom of that glass. Okay, until there's a lot of juice happening down there. Then you're gonna take three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Once again, I have neglected to take the tops off of my bottles. And then three quarters of an ounce of that. And then you wanna do two good ounces and that'll do, of the rye, okay? Then, ladies and gents, you're gonna take some ice, put that in there, and then you are gonna shake the hell out of that. I don't know if you can hear me over the sound of, uh, of all this, but I'll wait to continue. The sh Shake that very well. And then, 
you get that. Now this recipe uh, came from Ray's Stark Bar at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Um, and I want to thank my friends Brian Light and Lee Wishner for turning me on to this recipe. Uh, you can, if you wish, when you are uh, done shaking that up, if you're the type of person who doesn't like pulp in their orange juice, then you will want to double strain this drink into the coupe glass, uh, which you can do like so. And then that way you're getting a nice clear drink and you're making sure that there are no seeds or anything like that. There you go. And then to finish that off, you are going to take a little pick here, take a nice big juicy berry, stick that through there, and that goes on the cocktail. And this is the blacklisted. It's actually really, really good. Uh, you will like this. And like I say, you can do this over a big ice cube in a rocks glass. It doesn't have to be a coupe glass, but this is, this is the way I like to do it. Oh, man, that is tasty. Um, so I hope you watch this weekend. Um, Dick Powell in Cornered uh, this weekend on Noir Alley. And this uh, cocktail goes out uh, to Adrian Scott and Edward Dimitrik and all their, uh, their brethren who uh, had some hard times there. And I'm uh, celebrating with this cocktail and the host that uh, in the future, any blacklists we have are cocktails. Cheers. <laughs>